guys, so really quickly, I'm doing a get ready with me video for this look here that I am wearing. We're headed out for dinner and then a boat ride, but I wanted to film me getting ready, so I'm doing a quick introduction so you guys can see the look before we get into the video. And this is like my comfort zone. This is so pretty, and I do show you my outfit as well. So if you want to see this get ready with me video, then stay tuned and I'll talk to you soon. All right. So let's get this started. I am first going to apply eyeshadow primer to my eyebrows and this is going to ensure that our eyebrow products have something to stick to so they last throughout the night and don't just melt off my face. And for this I'm using my MAC 24 hour extend eye base and I'm also going to apply that all over my lids to ensure that we have a good base for our eyeshadows. Then I'm brushing through my brows with my trusty old toothbrush. And then going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. This is in the shade Dark Brown. And I'm going to use the brow pencil to outline the shape that I want for my eyebrows and fill in some of the sparse areas. And if you do want to see a full eyebrow tutorial, then click below in the description box. I will have my full eyebrow routine linked. Now I'm going in with some brow powder. This is the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in the shade Ebony. I'm using the dark side and my Paula Dorf Eye Definer brush and just working that through my brows to give them a nice diffused look. So they look a little bit more natural than just drawn in with a pencil. Now I'm going in with some concealer. This is from the Sephora brand and it is their Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer in the shade Cream Cafe which is number 13 and I'm just applying that beneath my brows and blending it out using my Bare Minerals Concealer Brush and this is just going to add a highlight under our brows as well as define the shape a little bit more. Then I'm blending the edges out with my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush just to make sure there are no harsh lines. For my face, I'm going in with my Smashbox Primer Water, which I absolutely love. And believe it or not, I'm grabbing some of my Philips Milk of Magnesia. And I'm just taking it out of the cap and applying it to my T-zone area where I know for sure I'm going to get oily. Because I don't want to sweat and get all greasy throughout the night because it's going to be a long night. Now I'm going in with my Kat Von D Eyeshadow Primer. This is the High Voltage Primer. It's in the shade Skin. And it's a very light um, yellow based primer and I'm going to apply that all over my lids and blend it in with my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush again just to make sure we get even coverage and I cover all the discoloration on my lids but I also have a great base for my eyeshadows. Next I'm going in with my Makeup Forever Smooth In Primer and I'm just going to blend that all over my skin and over that Milk of Magnesia. And that is going to just cover up any kind of powdery residue that is left over from the Milk of Magnesia. I'm grabbing a eyeshadow hair from Calvin Klein. It is the shade 610 Sand, which is just a shimmery light, like a champagne gold shade. It's a very pale shimmery shade. I'm just going to apply that to my inner tear ducts using my It Cosmetics eyeshadow brush. This is going to give our inner tear ducts something to kind of bring attention and brighten up that area. Now I'm grabbing one of my eyeshadows from Makeup Forever. This is the shade ME304 Emerald and I'm just applying that on the inner lid area with the same brush and just blending it in. We're just going to have a nice shimmery pop of green there. Then I'm going in with a very bright blue. Even though it's a deep blue in the pan, it is I220 Sapphire also from Makeup Forever. I'm going to apply that on my lid area just to give a nice deep kind of mermaid-esque ocean appeal to this eyeshadow look. Yeah, I'm using all the words to describe this right now. I'm going to go ahead and blend that out using my large eyeshadow brush from IT Cosmetics. Making sure that I really blend out the edges so there are no harsh lines and everything just blends in seamlessly. And then to darken up the outer V, I'm going in with my Viseart palette. This is the 04 Dark Matte palette, and I'm grabbing the dark blue shade out of this palette using the same brush, and I'm going to just darken up that outer V area and really make sure that I blend that color in. I'm even grabbing a fresh blending brush just to blend out the edges 
so there are no harsh lines in my crease area. Then I'm going to go back and forth and build up the color and keep blending so we get a seamless transition. Now we're going in with my foundation. This is the Dior Skin Air Flash Spray Foundation in the shade 600 Mocha. And I'm going to blend that over my skin using my Marc Jacobs number 3 The Face Brush. Or it's the face brush number 3, however you want to say it. I'm just going to blend that foundation all over my skin. What I'm doing is spraying the foundation directly onto the brush. And then just using the brush to blend the foundation all over my skin. And this foundation, oh my god, it is amazing. I don't even know what to do with myself because it's very expensive, but it is flawless. And this brush just really blends everything down seamlessly. Now I'm going in with mascara. And for this, I'm using the Clinique High Impact Mascara as like a base coat. This is a deluxe sample that I got from Sephora. So I'm applying that to make my lashes nice and full and separated. Then I'm going in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara which is my all-time favorite, then when in doubt, go back and blend it out. And that is exactly what I'm doing. I'm blending out the edges of the eyeshadow. And now for my lashes, I'm going in with the Style 213s from Beauty Sense. They're really cheap lashes, but they look so great and they feel lightweight on the lashes. I'm just going to apply that strategically, as strategically as you can place lashes. And what I'm doing here is I'm going to push the... Um, the lid kind of my skin on my eyelid down on the lash glue so they kind of cover the lash band and I know that looks kind of funky but it does help to hide the lash band now I'm going in with my Marc Jacobs foundation powder and my it cosmetics velvet locks brush and just pouncing that over my skin to make sure I set everything in place even though this foundation doesn't really need that much powder then for my contour on my nose I'm going to use a Sonia Kasha large crease brush and my Anastasia contour powder in the shade earth and just going along the sides of my nose just to give it a little bit of definition because my nose can really come off wide in pictures and in video so I'm just gonna apply that to my nose and then blend it out using my Marc Jacobs contour brush I'm also gonna grab some of that product and apply it to the hollows of my cheek and really blend it in using that brush and this brush is like perfect for blending contour it's absolutely my favorite and I wouldn't trade it for the world go back in I'm gonna blend out that nose contour a little bit more because there's nothing I hate worse than seeing lines across people's noses that isn't blended oh my god it's horrible so make sure you blend out the product so it looks seamless and flawless and it just looks like a natural shadow now for my blush, I'm going in with this Laura Geller blush. It is the shade Guava and I put way too much on but not to worry. We're going to blend that out and blend for the heavens. We're going to really blend that color out. And then going in with a shimmery bronzy gold highlight. This is the Betty Luminizer highlight powder from The Balm. And I'm trying to figure out what to do with my lips. I have a couple of Kat Von D liquid lipsticks, but I'm going in with the nude shade. This is Lolita, which everybody is going crazy for. It's sold out right now, and I think they are reformulating the color because it kind of got messed up in production the last batch. So they're reformulating to make sure that they have the right shade. Then I'm going in with one of the new shades. This is Mother, and I'm just popping it on the center of my lips, and that's going to give us a nice pinky nude look to our lips it's more of a pink obviously but it's a pinky nude and i'm gonna grab my chestnut liner no this is cork liner from mac and apply that to the edges of my lip and then go back in with some of the lolita just to blend everything together and get a nice pretty look to our lips and then we're going in with our mac giga black lash mascara just to the bottom lashes and i'm also grabbing my Urban Decay 24-7 liner in the shade flip side and applying it to my lower lashes, just the outer part, and then blending it out just to make sure we don't have any harsh lines. But I'm not going to do anything crazy on the lower lash line, and that's it. So here goes the completed look, which I'm absolutely in love with. And I am going to show you pictures and a little bit of video of my outfit as well as my guests of honor i have my husband here in this video as well as his best friend that is here to visit from texas and we're going to show you snippets of us going out tonight 
we are going out to dinner and then to the city. So if you see that suitcase in the background, yeah, that's from the guests. And the dress is from BB as well as the belt and my accessories. You've seen this all before. It's just simple gold accessories to go with my outfit. So enjoy the outfit and the rest of the vlog. Let's bring the roof down. Where's D? D! Come get your outfit. Don't they look like twins? Mm hmm? I need more light. No. Oh, oh, really? <laughs> ashy ankle. They're not ashy. He saw him put on the jewelry. Jewelry? Where's the jewelry? No. Let's bring the roof down. with me video as usual I'll leave a full list of products used in the description box so check that out as well as links to where you can find them as well as links to my Instagram Twitter Facebook snapchat and periscope definitely follow me on periscope I think that's the new thing and it's gonna be my thing and we can chat and interact live when I have some time so I'll talk to you soon guys take care and thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing and supporting and liking and sharing and favorites and all that good stuff so thank you guys bye hi Dimitri <laughs> Which I know. Mr. Dimitri, why are you always on the phone? Should you mind? Yeah, just put it in the middle. Yeah, just put it in the middle. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Make sure I lay this right so I don't mess up my pants.